Hello, just a passage to share with you today, um, Psalm 51 verse 17, which says the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contract heart. This, O oh God, you will not despise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. David had a great love for the house of the Lord and has sponsored great sacrifices unto God. In 2 Samuel chapter 6, verse 13 and verse 17 to 18. Yet he understood that one could sacrifice an animal or many animals to God without a broken and contract heart. So it's not about your works, but about your relationship with God. Perhaps David had offered many sacrifices at God's altar in his months of unconfessed sin. He recognized the emptiness of all that and the value of his present broken spirit and broken and contract heart. Hallelujah, hallelujah. If you and I have a broken spirit, all idea of our own importance is gone. So the question here is, what is the use of a broken heart? Why much the same as the use of a broken pot, a broken jug, or a broken bottle? The Bible says, a broken and a contract heart, God never despise. This is opposed to that hard or stony heart of which we read so often, which signifies a heart insensible of the burden of sin, a heart that is stubborn and rebellious against God, a reprobate mind. Then the second part of the verse says, This, O God, you will not despise. Hallelujah. It is easy to imagine that many in David's day would despise his broken and contract heart. What he did was taking whatever woman he wanted and killing anyone who got in his way. This was expected conduct for the kings of the world today, isn't it? We take laws into our hands. But God is watching. The passage says God will not despise. May I encourage you, my brothers and sisters, to open up to God. It does not matter the gravity of what you did in the past. You can open up to God Almighty and he will forgive you. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18, Come now, let us settle the matter, says the Lord. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. I encourage you, my brothers and sisters, to ask God for his mercy and grace upon your life right now. You cannot hide or run away from God. He's everywhere. If you go to the north, he's there. To the west, he's there. To the south and east, God is there. First John chapter 1 verse 8 says, If we say we have not sin, we are deceiving ourselves. That truth is not in us. But when we come into his presence, he's faithful and just to forgive us every unrighteousness. And I want to encourage you, my brothers and sisters, come to Jesus. Come to him. He loves you and cares about you. Have a blessed day and God bless you. Bye.